Hi everybody, I'm Robert Jones. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With The Joneses. Today I'm going to make a cool coleslaw because it's been hotter than heck here and I didn't really want to cook anything hot and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy this. It'd be great for a summer picnic or taking to a friend's house or just impressing your friends. This is a really easy recipe and it's ultra delicious. I have proof. Right guys? Yes, it's very good. There you go. So, this is very easy. Let me show you the ingredients first, so check this out. For this recipe, you're gonna need one half of a green cabbage, one lime, one carrot, a couple stalks of green onion or spring onion, whatever you call it, some sriracha hot pepper sauce, a cup of mayonnaise, 20 ounces of crushed pineapple, or fresh if you'd like, a half a cup of brown sugar, some black pepper, some ground ginger, and a little bit of salt. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is a bowl, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this, you're gonna make it kind of in reverse order. So we're gonna make the sauce first, and then we put the vegetables in last. So it's very easy. So we're gonna take our mayonnaise first. We have one cup of mayonnaise, just goes right in the bowl. Now, I recommend using real mayonnaise, not the things that are labeled salad dressing, which have sugar and all kinds of stuff in it. This basically has eggs and oil and lemon juice. Maybe a couple of things for preservatives because it's bottled, but other than that, it's just very simple. You don't want the weird flavors in there. So also, we're gonna give it a squeeze of lime, just for some extra zestiness. This doesn't have any uh, seeds in it, which is kind of good. Give a little more there. And the other half here. Wet my hands. Okay, so then we're just gonna add in a half a half a cup of brown sugar. It looks like a lot, but it's actually just because it's fluffed up in the cup. We're gonna put in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, this recipe I'm actually making is a half recipe. I grew up with a very large family. There were six of us. I have three sisters. Shout out to them. And we always made food in big proportions. But for today, I thought I would just try to make like a half size proportion so it will look normal to you guys. <laughs> we also have a half a teaspoon of ginger. Oh, and I'll also have the recipe down below. And a half a teaspoon of just uh, salt. I'm using kosher salt just because I like that it doesn't have any other flavors other than salt. And then a half a teaspoon, wow, did you see that? <laughs> Talk about being under some pressure. Uh. Some sriracha, just a little half a teaspoon. <laughs> and for a special friend, where everything keeps exploding, there you go. <laughs> Let me clean this up real quick. Okay. And I think we got all the soft ingredients. Oh, and before we stir that, I'm also going to show you that you're going to take the pineapple. We have 20 ounces of crushed canned pineapple, and I'm just going to put it in a colander and let it drip for a couple of minutes because we don't want to have too much water. With the salt and with the sugar and everything, it's going to draw water out of the cabbage as it sits overnight, and so it'll make its own sauce that'll be even thinner, but I want to try to just get a little bit of the pineapple juice out of here. So we'll just let that sit for just a minute. So in the meantime, we're just going to mix this up real quick. It's that easy. Then we're just going to add our pineapple, our crushed pineapple. We don't need that. Here, mix it up. Now I find that if you make the sauce first and mix it up, it is a lot easier to toss with the vegetables. The brown sugar is not wanting to mix up. So you can also see it's got a sauce, it's a nice consistency. If I had thought about it, maybe I'd put the pineapple and let it drip dry a little longer, but it's all right for now. So through the TV magic, we have our carrots already grated. I just used a standard grater, just one carrot grated. I like it peeled. Don't have to peel it if you like that. Put that in there. And I like to just keep tossing everything together. And then we have our cabbage. Now, this is the equivalent of one half of a cabbage. All you have to do, give it a wash, cut the core, cut this in three pieces, and slice it up. I mean, it'll take you two minutes. You'll be the hero of the party. Then, we're just going to take our cabbage and put it in here. And I just realized I totally made a mistake. I'm going to tell you about it in two seconds. So, here's our cabbage. And I put green onions here on the movie set, and these don't go in this recipe. There you go. See? Perfection doesn't always happen. All right, so let's get rid of that and get some tongs. I have some tongs here, and like I said, it's hot. 
some tongs here from a special friend. And we're just going to mix this up. I want it to go everywhere. Normally it's a bigger bowl, but it's a little better. Anyway. Can you know what, guys? That's it. That's all you have to do. You have just made coleslaw. So, in order to have this taste tested, we have some friends in the audience here. Hi, friends again. Hi. <laughs> Let me give them a taste and see what we think. Yay. Love this job. Love this job. Give me some food. Yeah. Food. Am I making a big giant mess? I am. Oh, well. That's okay. All right, fresh friends. So, if you guys let this cabbage sit overnight, it gets even better. But right now, it is edible. It's one. Thank you. Hand off screen. Two. We're just serving glasses like if you were a party. And then fork. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Mmm, that is good. Is it good? Let me try mm -hmm. a little taste too here. I don't want to take too much. It tastes like coleslaw. Hey! It tastes like coleslaw. Let's see if I can get a taste too. Like real coleslaw. Mmm. It's really good, you guys. That is good. So. It's hot outside, you don't always have to cook. If you want to look like the hero at your barbecue and you want to bring something fresh and delightful, make them coleslaw. It's very easy, it takes about 10 minutes, and you don't have to buy it at the store. It just comes like magic. Anyway, I'm Robert Jones. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the coleslaw episode. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter at Eudaimonius, E U D A E M O N I U S. Again, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, you can find me easiest on Tumblr as well. It's E-U-D-A-E-M-O-N-I-U-S. That's Eudaimonius, and I'm Robert Jones. Thank you. Bye. And I'm still sweating to death here. What is going on, you guys? If you want to look at the hero, look like a hero at the party, you want to go to a barbecue, make... <coughs> <laughs> Take two. <coughs> That's why I just let it roll. <clears throat> I totally choked on camera. <laughs> Top <coughs> takes. <coughs> so, if you. <clears throat> it's fine. You're fine. Okay. So, what you're going to need first is one big bowl, and then we have our half a cup of uh, cabbage, but, but we're not going to start there. Let me start over. Let me just back up.